Hi guys and welcome to another video of Creations by Suying. Um, my hubby is out of town. We don't have the girls this weekend so I'm home all alone and I figured now's the perfect time for me to be able to make some videos for you guys to catch up. I know I haven't posted anything in a couple days but last week was insane for me. I I was doing one thing and then the other and then the other and then the other and I was jumping from one thing to the other and it was like nonstop. So I have a little bit of downtime today and I figured I have a few cards I need to make. I will make videos for you guys so that I can post them up and share them with you. This is a quick little card that I put together for a cousin of mine who is having a baby and she wanted a sample of maybe like a garden type uh, baby shower invitation so I put this together for her I hope she likes it and I'm gonna explain to you how I made it the little butterfly and the little flower are from the create a critter cartridge let me see yeah I have it right here. the create a critter cartridge which I absolutely love it's one of my favorites okay and the fence, of course, is from my Martha Stewart fence punch, which is my favorite punch that I own at the time. Just love it. And this is ribbon from, let me see, where did I put the spool, the spool of ribbon? This is ribbon from, okay, I just had it because I cut it. What did I do with it? Oh, it's right here. It's like literally in my face. It is from Craftsmart from the dollar section at Michael's. And it's this flower, flowery ribbon with a little, um, it looks like a little garden. So she wanted something gardeny. And I used that. Now the base of the card is from the let's see it's from the ultimate creative series sample that Gloria gifted me and it's on the let's see it's on the party's gift giving and stencil part of the cartridge and it's this cut right here let's see can you see it there it's that cut right there so I sent her some pictures. I hope she likes it. I hope this is what she had in mind. And then I would be printing, obviously before I stick on all the embellishments, I just put the embellishments on for her so that she could see what it would look like. Um, before I, I would cut this out at center point. I'm not too sure how to do the center point. I, I've seen some videos on YouTube, so I'm going to give it a try and see how I can get that to work. Okay guys, so this is just a quick little video just to show you one of the cards that I'm working on and if she likes them, I will be mass producing these at, I think she wants 110 invitations. Um, so, wish me luck and I hope to see you guys soon. Have a good night.